So for my second meal, I just grounded up some chicken with some chickpeas. So super simple. I know I need to be eating more vegetables. People are pointing that out to me. And I'm also gonna put some tapatio. So it seems like we're doing a little what I ate today video. So I'm gonna show you my next meal. So here is my four half sandwiches. So <laughs> this is better than ever. This is a perfect time to talk about this because a lot of people were super confused on why I do this. But I do wanna say that the mayonnaise I use is 35 calories. People were very concerned with like the calorie count on this. This meal is about 520 calories roundabout, possibly even less. Stay off track. So I'm gonna show you what I'm eating right now, right here. So this is the first meal that I'm eating. I kind of just winged this. That's like what I've been doing for all my meals is just throwing stuff together. But honestly, it seems like every time I do come up with something, it tastes really good. So here we just have some pasta. I cut up some onion. There is some tomato. I did add some corn. There is a tiny bit of pesto. It just adds the smallest bit of flavor. We have garlic salt, onion powder, pepper, and I think that's it when it comes to seasonings. Oh, and the tiniest bit of like a chicken broth. I'm talking like the smallest bit ever. And then I also put some butter. So this is my first meal. It looks pretty tasty. And I am using my phone light, so that's why it looks like that, because it is dark. My sleeping schedule is horrible. So, first meal. So, here it is. Amberlynn's eating on camera. What are we going to do about it? I don't even know. It's so good. I haven't had pasta like this in a long time. Like, is boil some water for the pasta and chop this up. So I have the um, chicken sausage cooking. You don't need a lot of seasonings because this is super flavorful. So I just added onion powder for a little bit of onion flavor and some pepper. We have the pasta going. So I have the pasta strained. I always do it inside of something like that because doing it in the sink absolutely repulses me and over here we have the broccoli now kneading and marrying the sausage um i also added the minced garlic as well so here it is completed i added tapatio obviously and there's my bowl i'm excited to try it y'all i ain't gonna lie I am so tired right now. I actually feel like I could fall asleep while eating. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really trying to fix my sleeping schedule. <clears throat> and I only got five hours of sleep last night. The night before it was three. The night before it was zero because I wanted to stay up for like 36 hours. So in a little over three days, I've gone eight hours of sleep in total. I'm crashing tonight for sure. So here we go. Try it out. Yep. Mmm. Spicy. Love spice. Mm. Tapatio. If you guys like spicy stuff and you like using hot sauce and you've never tried tapatio, thousand million percent recommend 10 out of 10 recommend mm. i have made this i think one other time i did a little different last time so i'm just gonna talk to you guys about how i did it this time super freaking delicious so i'm really hungry so i'm gonna start off with a bite here Ten out of ten recommend. And I have a caffeine free 
Diet Coke. So, what this is, is <laughs> obviously we have some white rice underneath. I tried to flatten it so it looked more spread out instead of like a huge pile. So, I made a little, what would you call it? A little hole, if you will, to put the um, veggies and meat in. So, obviously, we have some chicken, okay? This is just my version of a stir fry. I'm sure several people have done this before, but this is the way that I do it. So, I cut up chicken. I cut up onion. It's so good. I like my onion to be in big chunks because it matches the size of everything else pretty much. So, um, and then obviously I add baby corn because baby corn is like one of my most favorite things and I just don't have it enough. It's so good. And then water chestnuts obviously we have some carrots I have some broccoli and there is a little bit of cauliflower in here there's a piece of it um that's pretty much the gist of that and then I add low sodium soy sauce. I add General So's, it's like a sauce. And then I add some pepper, obviously, while the um, chicken is cooking and the onion and stuff. And that's honestly pretty much it. That is all I do. And I love it. Next thing I'm having is a whole box of the pasta roni. It is an angel hair pasta with herbs flavor. It is a whole bowl, literally. A whole bowl. And well, the next thing I'm having, it's been, um, I'll say about four hours since I last ate. And I'm having just pasta with some melted butter and garlic salt. And then I'm also going to have this Nestle Vanilla Fudge Drumstick. So that's what I'm about to have now. Time for the next meal. I am having air. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to make a bowl of some sort. We're going to start with shredded lettuce. So obviously this is zero points for the lettuce. So I'm just gonna use, I'm not sure how much actually. So this is the whole bag, that's a little much. But I'm hungry, so y'all, it's just lettuce. Next thing I have is, this is Jenny O ground turkey with some taco seasoning. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the points. After this, it's on a plate because I already measured it all out. So we're gonna add that. Now I am adding a serving of corn, which is half of a cup. See, if I was on any other of the plans, the meat and the corn would have been zero points. But since I'm on the green plan, it is points. So I have to measure it, I have to weigh it. Next, I'm gonna be adding some Fritos. A serving is 32 chips. And I'm pretty sure this was five points for a serving, so not bad. I just like to have some crunch. So that's how it's looking so far. Next, I'm going to add salsa. I don't have to measure this because it's zero points plus, you know, it's low calories. I'm trying not to think of calories, but it naturally just comes to my brain. I love salsa. And this is going to be my dressing, if you will. So we have salsa. Last but not least, I'm going to just add some raw 
onion. That adds really, really good flavor in my opinion. So I feel like this is gonna taste mighty good. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's do a taste test. Oh, this is huge. I'm gonna be stuffed. I was gonna add ranch. I know it sounds weird, but spicy ranch with like taco guts. This is taco guts. Actually tastes really good, I'm not gonna lie. But I was like, nah, I don't need it. But yeah, this is taco guts recipe. Mmm. <gasps> yeah. Holy crap, that's good. You know what, I was hungry. I haven't ate today, so we have some spaghetti. This is not homemade, so. But it is good, okay. So we have some spaghetti, spaghetti. Yeah. These chips, you guys. I know this meal is like so random. Oh, clean face with foundation getting spaghetti sauce. These are Cajun dill gator taters. I don't know, Becky got them to try and she liked them, but I ended up loving them. It's so good. So, hey you guys, so for my first meal, I am having two slices of turkey bacon. And then over here, I have a situation type deal. <laughs> so it is cucumber, mozzarella pearls that I cut in half, tapatio, onion, basil, um, some sesame seeds, one tablespoon of Asian toasted sesame dressing, some salt and some pepper. This is actually so good. I had this for a snack yesterday and it's super low calorie and oh. very <laughs> This is a sandwich taco <laughs> that I just decided to try. And yeah, um, anyways, off topic. So this is literally just a piece of bread, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of mayo, uh, pepper jack cheese, chicken, and hot Cheetos. <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh. Okay, girl. Wow, this is so good. I'm gonna have this one and then another one. So for both of them is only 330 calories. Not bad on calories at all. 